in what it is likely to become India's biggest science program in the next few years. ISRO has started working on the building of igloos on the moon, which is also called as the outpost of the moon base. These lunar habitats, as the scientists call them, will be built by sending robots and 3D printers to the moon and by using the lunar soil and the other materials. The project has seen progress with working model created using a 3D printer sitting in the space agency's lunar terrain test facility. The scientists have drawn up five designs of the lunar habitats and hope their work could contribute to plans of creating outposts in the moon. ISRO Satellite Center Director M. Anadurai likened the igloos on the moon to India's outpost in the Antarctica. And he said, we are planning to use the moon as an outpost, like the mission in Antarctica. In the long run, the space station is likely to be scrapped. Many countries, including the US, are considering the building more permanent structures on the moon and working out of there. When that happens, we want India to have contributed, he said. He added that the scientists and the astronauts going to the Earth satellite in the future will spend more than just a few years there. Another I also said that the space agency has mastered the process of creating lunar simulant and it has about six cents of it, the material that approximately the properties of the lunar soil. Its properties matches 19.6% with the samples brought from the moon by the Apollo missions. In 2004, we had purchased 10 kg of the lunar simulant at $150 a kg from the US for the test. Later, we found some materials have been found in the Salem in Tamil Nadu. We found those rocks and developed the process to make those soils here. Today, we have thousands of kilograms with us and it costs less the fractions of if you would have purchased it right now. Anyway, no country could part with the quantities we needed, added another ray. The senior scientist and the project lead I. Venugopal has applied for the global patent for the process of manufacturing the lunar stimulant. Thanks to the technology, ISRO has been able to manufacture 60 tons of the stimulant at Rs 10 lakh. So what do you think of ISRO building a new military base or a space base or the space outpost in the moon? Will it only suffice for India's space research or it is looking for something related to alien life plans across the space or they are already in contact in the moon? The last time any country put boots on the moon was in 2013, when China landed its U-2 rover there. Before that, you had have to look back to 1970s to find anything built by Earthlings that camped out of the surface of the moon. ISRO The Indian Space Research Organization is getting ready to land its very first lunar rover by the end of March 2018 as part of its Chandrayaan-2 mission. This is not ISRO's first journey towards moon or to the interstellar space, but it is Indian government's most ambitious moon exploration projects to the day. Chandrayaan 1 Blasted off from Sri Arikota, island off the coast of east of India in 2008, at an estimated cost of 83 million US dollars. The ISRO's 5 foot cube made into lunar orbit and detected some magmatic water on the moon crater. Then on November 14, 2008, the probe crashed into the moon and got lost in the lunar orbit before NASA found the spacecraft again in 2016. This will be ISRO's first attempt to get into a more delicate and precious up-close look at the lunar surface. Indian Space Research Team is preparing three unmanned vehicles for the trip an orbit craft that will hover above the moon's surface plus a rover and a lander that will safely plop the rover onto the moon. If all goes well, this mission on the moon will be completed in 14 Earth days. That's just enough for the moon to make one full orbit on our planet Earth. The Chandrayaan-2 mission is just one of the projects that the ISRO is hoping to launch in the next several years. They are also working on the project called Azithya that will study the sun and a 5-year satellite called Exoposat that they want to use to learn more about the cosmic radiations. So what do you think of India's ambitious projects now against Moon?
Will this be our success one and will be a proud moment for India as of Mangalyaan which was sent to Mars in 2013. India Yama Motor has taken an initiative of installing green energy by installing one of the largest rooftop solar project of 6 megawatts.
Chengchou in China's Shandong province are the birthplaces of Confucius and Lemtius, two great Chinese philosophers who lived 2,500 years ago. The temple, family mansion, and cemetery of Confucius in Chufu are on UNESCO's World Heritage List. Lemtius family mansion, temple, and cemetery in Zhoucheng are major national historical and cultural sites. From 2011 to mid-2017, the World Bank supported China in a project that improved cultural heritage conservation efforts and tourism development in the two historic cities. Ancient halls, gateways, and pavilions were rehabilitated using traditional methods and materials. Beams and columns were repaired, broken roof tiles replaced, traditional pavements revamped, and stone tablets made at different times cleaned and patched, all following the principle of repairing old as old. Thousands of ancient trees were carefully examined. A tailored conservation plan was developed for each of them. An archaeological park was established in Chufu to protect the ruins of the state of Lu, which dates back to the 11th century BC. Historic city regeneration and infrastructure upgrading have benefited local communities, increasing their quality of life. Old streets were renovated with new pavements and streetlights. Electric wires and water pipelines went underground. Water from the Sichui River was diverted to restore Chufu's water system. The ancient city moat, now filled with clean water and flanked by lush willow trees, has taken on a new charm. It was filthy, foul-smelling Inlu River in Zhoucheng was dredged and cleaned up. River banks were reinforced and planted with trees, making it a waterfront park. Small businesses are flourishing, generating more jobs and better incomes for local residents. Improvements in tourist information and services, including new electronic tour guide systems, multilingual signage, tour maps, and other tourist facilities, has led to further growth of the tourism sector. Now, every year, over 5 million visitors from China and around the world come to Chufu and Zhoucheng to pay their respects to the ancient sages, see their homes and temples, and learn about their philosophies, contributing to the spread of Confucianism. Post your comments below, and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, and follow us on social networks, and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching, this is WC Daily. Think big, think different. Bye.